Hey, it's Tommy Gunn from Cracked Rabbit Gaming, and this is how to get to the three secret vaults in Slime Rancher after you've beaten the game. Now, I'm not going to spoil what's in the vaults until the end of the video in case you want to discover it yourself, but this is how you get to all three. And you are going to need slime keys for all of these. There are just enough keys to open every slime gate in the game, including the vaults. So look up a map if you are missing a key or three and figure out which Gordos you need to pop and go do that. If you haven't beaten the game yet, I have a guide for that for the whole end game, so check that out. Now the first vault we are going to go to is in the dry reef, so we're going to just follow this path here. And the other thing you're going to need is a Mark III safe cracker for some things that are in the vaults. So we're going to take this teleporter here, and this is just a quick way to get to the teleporter here if you jetpack across. You can also go around the right side instead of doing this jetpack maneuver, but this is quicker. And here's the teleporter. This is what the other side looks like in case you went around the other way. And here's the vault. The next vault we are going to is in the indigo quarry on this island which also requires a teleporter again i am going to take a teleporter to the indigo quarry so we're going to go through the grotto but you can also just find your own way to the indigo quarry if you want but here we are We're going to cross this bridge and jetpack, and there would be a Gordo here, so pop it if you haven't already. And this seems to be one of the fastest ways to get up, to just climb up these rocks here. And I think there would be another Gordo right in the middle there, but we're going to go this way, and here's the teleporter and the vault. And the final one is in the moss blanket which I showed in my hat trick video. So here it is again. We have just dropped down through the logs. You're going to turn left, run forward, go right through the feral boomers. Uh, this is essentially the way you'd go to get to the one-way teleporter, but we're going to turn left here after that log, jump across here, keep running, just follow this path. And I think you could probably go straight forward and jetpack across, but I went the long way around. I'm not quite sure. But in any case, go through this way, and here is the teleporter. When you go through, there is the door, which I already opened. Okay, spoilers if you don't want to see what's in the vaults. Here is the dry reef vault. We're going to run inside. And there are some of these treasure pods with gold plorts. That is going to be a common theme. We're going to hit this switch in the middle, and it is a trap with feral slimes. So you can feed them if you want or just run away. But we do need to open that because that opens this bottom section here with a ton more treasure pods. Here is the indigo quarry vault. And doesn't look like a whole lot is here. Just one treasure pod. But it's got to be good, right? No, just one gold plort. And of course, that can't really be all there is. So we are going to look around and find a switch hidden under here. And this door opens, and there we go. Tons more treasure pods filled with gold plorts. So you're probably going to want to just go around and open all of them before picking up the gold plorts, since they are kind of slow. And I also recommend having a teleporter or a warp depot or something with you 
because you're actually not going to be able to carry them all back even with I think uh, in this video I have it upgraded to a hundred yeah I can carry a hundred in each slot but I had a warp depot on me so I installed it just outside of the vault or outside of the teleporter to the vault so I could unload my gold plorts and go back in. Now here is the final vault in the moss blanket and make sure you have food with you. You can grab that food at the beginning but to be absolutely sure you should bring your own food and then here's a video from after I come back to collect more plorts. And that's it. I hope that helps, and make sure you get a good price on the market when you sell those. I should also mention that those gold slimes do not spawn again when you come back. So they only spawn in the very first time you visit, so make sure you have food with you and you are ready for it.